Keywords and Currents. The keywords this time are vision for a digital garden city nation, a national policy to drive nationwide bottom-up growth through digital technologies to promote social innovation starting from regional communities. The initiative is a key pillar of a new capitalism envisioned by Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida. The aim is to create new services and enhance the well-being of citizens and establish a society where anyone, anywhere can live with convenience and comfort. It is also one of the pillars of the country's smart city vision. Nikkei recently held a forum in collaboration with Smart City Institute Japan, which was established to expand and promote smart cities within Japan. To deepen discussions among government officials and local governments leading this initiative and the private sector. We introduce the ideas of some of the participants and explore the characteristics and state of Japan's smart cities. Good morning. The first to take the stage was the head of the Japanese digital agency, Karen Makishima, who spoke about the vision for a digital garden city nation and the smart cities that Japan hopes to realize. If our goal is the mountain summit, there are starting points for the climb up. For example, medical, education or mass. We want to encourage the sharing of expertise to scale this mountain together and engender our vision and the idea that the well-being of all citizens lies at the peak. Japan is aiming to establish smart cities that realize the well-being of citizens. Why has this become the primary objective of Japanese smart cities? We spoke with Tak Nagumo, the executive managing director of Smart City Institute, who also served as the forum moderator. Vision for a digital garden city nation is an important component of the policy of the Kishida administration. It is aimed at promoting digitalization starting from regional communities, driving digital transformation and energizing the whole of Japan from the bottom up. Therefore, we need to create smart cities in each region, which will ultimately lead to the digitalization of the entire country. You can look at this as a policy that merges regional revitalization and smart cities. Until now, we tended to focus entirely on technology. There was kind of a feeling that all we needed was technology. But our true objective should be the result of applying technology to enhance the happiness of citizens and make their lives more convenient and comfortable. In setting that result as our goal, we adopted the concept of well-being in our initiative this time. To promote the vision for a digital garden city nation, the Japanese government is providing grants for regional governments that are proactively implementing digital technologies. We spoke with Mayor Yasutomo Suzuki of Hamamatsu City, one of the grant recipients, about how they are developing the local community. One example is energy. We've incorporated an energy policy in our smart city. We set up a public-private sector organization in 2015 and are carrying out a range of initiatives. Naturally, we are utilizing digital and cutting-edge technology in that field. We also established the Hamamatsu Wellness Council with participants not just from our city, but also businesses nationwide to carry out various practical trials for health promotion and therapy, while building up a database of that information. And, in the future, we need to establish a collaborative social structure. As part of that, we're working on establishing a mutual assistance type transportation system by which residents transport other residents. The system itself is conventional, but to connect residents, it uses digital technologies and will be our leading initiative. We've already launched initiatives in various fields using digital technology, and we will comprehensively realize our smart city concept. Hamamatsu City has designed what it calls the Hamamatsu City Digital Smart City Public-Private Partnership Platform based on a municipal operating system that will serve as the foundation of data integration. 
The plan is to utilize the platform to link not just residents, but related communities and companies, human resources, and nonprofit organizations developing what's called civic tech to create various private sector services. The aim is to bolster industry and encourage sustainable development and realize the well being of its citizens. Vision for a digital garden city nation is characterized by the collaborative creative endeavors of industry, government, and academia. How will Japan change through this wide-ranging partnership? In order to promote smart cities and vision for a digital garden city nation, we need to encourage the participation of citizens which will clarify their needs and accelerate the development of various industries and innovation. To realize that, simply having the tools isn't sufficient. For example, we need a methodology to evaluate the well-being of citizens. Without methods such as surveys of citizens, it'll be difficult to reach our objectives. So, we believe another thing we could do is to nurture evangelists to promote the concept and people referred to as facilitators and coaches. Without that, these ideals won't become reality, and it's a challenge we're tackling now. Vision for a digital garden city nation is still in its infancy. Our program will continue to follow how this initiative unfolds.